If you're a real estate agent right now in this market, you'll know that there's insane amounts of competition. Sales are at all time lows from where they have been in the past. The number of agents are at all time highs and there's more competition than ever. In fact, I actually just saw recently that there was about 180,000 new agents in the last roughly two years um, that have gotten their license, right? So that means there's over 1.5 million realtors in America right now, which is absolutely insane to think about. Now that means there's gonna be a lot of competition and there's gonna be a uh, compression on the commissions that are being paid, especially because house prices have gone up and you generally get paid a commission, uh, you know, a percentage based off of what the home sells for. So as those home prices continue to go up, those commissions are going to continue to come down. But that being said, you know, hey, making uh, 2% on a million dollar home is a lot better than making, uh, you know, 2% on a $500,000 home. So, uh, you know, it all kind of equals out and the more business you do and at higher price points, you're going to make more money regardless. Now, the thing I want to talk about here in this video is that now is the time to really bring back that 3% commission. The thing that you need to remember is that in today's day and age, there's going to be, you know, roughly five to 10% of the realtors who are doing roughly 80 to 90% of the business. There's going to be a lot of realtors who sit on the sideline. They only do one, two, maybe three deals a year. They don't really make a career out of it. And they, you know, kind of bring down that average income for a lot of other realtors. Now, the fact that, you know, I want to talk about bringing back the 3% commission and why that's so important in this um, shifting market is because the commissions have gotten compressed, you know, over the last couple of years, a lot of sellers have been looking at the market saying, hey, why would I list with an agent and pay 3% when I could just list with a discount broker, offer to pay the buyer's agent a little bit, and then um, you know be able to um, save that difference, right? And uh, honestly, they have been able to do that. Not everybody has needed a real estate agent. It's been a pretty simple market where somebody can put their home up for sale um, and they're going to get multiple offers in the first couple of days. However, that is now changing. If you're a real estate agent, you've been watching the market over the last couple of months, you'll know that homes are sitting on the market for longer than they ever have, um, at least in, in the near in the recent future. And if you're a real estate agent in today's market and you've been watching the market, you'll know that the number of sales is down, prices are still high, and there's going to be a lot of price reductions coming over the next couple of months. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that prices are coming down substantially. I do think they will do that, but that just means that there's not a lot of sales that are actually happening. The thing about it is that there's always going to be people who need to buy, sell, uh, buy or sell real estate, you know, based on their own potential needs, right? They might need to sell a home for whatever reason or they might need to buy a home because they just moved to the area, you know, or they just had another kid and they need a bigger house. So there's always going to be people who are buying and selling real estate. So that's something you have to remember when it comes to, uh, you know, working as a real estate agent, it's now time to get back that 3% commission. You want to make sure that you're asking for 3% on any listings that you take, because it's going to take a lot of time and effort to get that home sold. It's going to take extra time, you know, walking that client through the process of selling their home. And you also want to make sure that you, at least in my opinion, that you're asking for a 3% commission with buyers, especially if you're a buyer's agent, you know, for me, I'm probably about 75% buyers. I've seen a huge compression in the amount of commissions that I've actually been able to earn over the last couple of years, because those commissions have come down to, you know, two and a half, 2%. I've even seen some that are as low as 1%. And um, frankly, you know, I think that's just unacceptable with all the fees that we have, all the time that we put into the deals and, um, you know, not, not to count taxes and all the time that, you know, we put into a client who never ends up buying anything or selling anything. Thing, uh, you know, I think that getting paid a full 3% commission is um, totally reasonable. Uh, although, yes, it is a lot of money, people don't see the back end work that goes into it and all of the time and money spent um, that never turns into any type of income. So, uh, definitely going out there, if you're a buyer's agent, I would recommend trying to figure out how to. Uh, you know, negotiate a 3% commission. I've made videos about this here on the channel before actually, so you can search for that. But basically just negotiating a 3% commission as a buyer's agent is going to help you drastically because that means that if you're doing, let's say 10 deals a year and you're earning an extra half percentage point on every single one of those deals, you're gonna come out way ahead. You're gonna make an extra 30, 40, $50,000 just on those 10 deals. And that's gonna be an additional income in your pocket. It's gonna give you the freedom to provide a higher level of service to your clients and also to uh, go out there and spend more money on marketing, go out there and spend money on advertising, uh, marketing listings, anything like that, um, that it's going to be drastically important for you to tar start to take back market share in this crazy market that we're going into. Um, as the market shifts, this is going to be more and more important, and it's going to become easier uh, to make money if you are one of those top producing agents. You're going to pick up more market share and continue to do those deals uh, regardless of what state the market is in. So with that being said, I just wanted to kind of share this information with you. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the links in the description box below. There's a ton of information about there, uh, down there about what we teach, um, how to use YouTube, YouTube to sell real estate. We talk a little bit about Real Broker. There's a ton of different resources down there that you want to check out um, if you're new to the channel. And with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.